one of the big obstacles uh, in moving forward into the future is battery recycling. Oh my gosh, you cannot recycle them. Well, if you're watching this, you know you absolutely can because you could probably name two or three companies already doing it, but get ready to name one more. Let's do that. I'm Brian, welcome to Futuraza. So we're out here talking with the good folks at Recyclico Battery Materials, Recyclico.com. Miriam is joining us. Miriam is a PhD Hello. in material sciences. Materials engineering. Materials engineering, even better. So what uh, happens? What happens? You know, the you've got lithium ion batteries. They're full of super valuable materials. Can you tell me what we're looking at right here? Yeah, for sure. Uh, welcome to Recyclico. Thank so, you. Thank uh, you. Great to be here. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> well, uh, what you see here is uh, black mass and catalyst scrap. So these are the feed material that we are using at Recyclico to recycle the valuable materials from. Right. And these two are the products, so the lithium hydroxide and also precursor for catalytic material. So uh, you can see here that we show, we go through uh, stages of high metallurgical processes in order to uh, recycle valuable metals from uh, battery scraps and also black mass. And this technology is patented by Recycling Cup. So uh, the technology is, uh, we're expanding our technology by doing com uh, you know, commercializing plan in, in Taiwan and Asia. And uh, yeah, it's a very exciting project. So everyone knows, like uh, everyone's seen how metal is recycled. It's very easy. Yeah. You take metal, you crush it, and then you've got, you've literally got metal. All you have to do is clean it a little, get the paint out of it or whatever. But with this, it's a bit different because you've got to recover different elements from one can. You've got your electrode, your cathode, you might have cobalt or manganese or any number of things. So that's where the process starts. So the cathode scrap, this is pre-production manufacturing stuff, right? This is exactly this is the, the batteries that are not functional in, in, the, in the, in the factories. Main, yeah. we, 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 we collect them and uh, basically this is uh, one of the feeds, but the main feed we have is black mass. And yeah. the black mass is what you get when you crush up a battery? Exactly. From this picture, maybe it's easier to show. So uh, with, with, in a battery, you have case, you have plastics, you have electrolyte. There's so many components that we don't want them to get into our process. So Would you, I'm sorry, yeah. say that again. You've got, you don't want the glue, you don't want the, exactly. the we paint. Don't, you we don't, don't want them, like the, the case, electrolyte inside, and also the plastic parts, right. all the parts that you don't want them. So you want the lithium, the nickel, the manganese, exactly. the cobalt. Exactly, those okay. parts are what we want to end up in black mass. So it goes through, uh, we also have the magnetizing step, which means that you want to make sure that the parts that you have from the battery is coming is not magnetically active anymore. So there sure. are steps that we do. So and then we have shredding, mechanical shredding, and then you reach to black mass, which is a feed that is going into our process. May I see this again? Yeah. Sure. So this is real black mass. Boy, that's not going to be very visible, but it's just a black powder. It's really black. That is yeah. old batteries. Yeah. Okay. And then, so this is a mechanical process that gets us this far. Exactly. Right. And then we get into the chemical process, yes. which is a uh, top, tippy top secret. We're not going to get into that because that's the patents. Yeah. That's right. And then when you're done with that, what you've got left is? Uh, the product, which is lithium hydroxide monohydrate. Okay. And also precursor for catalytic material. And these two directly can be used for manufacturing batteries. Okay, tell me what PCAM is again. Precursor for cathode active material. Okay, and this is a mix of Cobalt, all those things we just talked about. Manganese and nickel, exactly. Yep. And lithium, at some, at some point, they are separated through the process. But then lithium hydroxide is also something that is used in the batteries and this one too. So these are things that that when we get back over here, exactly. this company wants to purchase from you. Right away, yes, yes. Do they give you the the dead stuff, or do you purchase the dead stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, we purchase this from different, you know, uh, companies. Yeah. But at a very reasonable price, so that this exactly. process makes still sense. makes sense. Exactly. That's great. Okay. Now, you've got your own facility, a little uh, demonstration facility here near Vancouver, in BC. In Richmond. That's right. Yes. In, in Richmond. Yeah. Uh, and what do you do there? Now, uh, yeah. I understand Sandy Monroe has been out there yeah. to yeah. check it out. 
Matt Farrell from Undecided has been out there to check it out. Yeah. Uh, what do you, does it, is every step represented enough that these people can see what's going on? Uh, part of it. <laughs> right. I mean, parts of it, of it are is, hidden, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you exactly. can, at that facility, yeah. produce this. Exactly. Exactly, yes. And you're ramping up with a facility offshore. Yes, we are, we are working to construct a commercial plan in Taiwan, uh, hopefully in a joint venture with, uh, with, the, with the Asian company in Taiwan. Okay. And uh, I, we, we are very positive that is going to be a step for us, for Recyclico, to move into Asian Asian market. Well, there are a few battery electric vehicles in Asia. The adoption rate is very high there. We just saw that China has surpassed 50% EV adoption. That's going to result in a lot of pre-production scrap. That's going to result in a lot of vehicles reaching end of life. Uh, this is a good opportunity and I guess a good time to be doing it. Um, what do you say to people who still believe that batteries end up in landfills? <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. All, They're worth we, too yeah. much money. Yeah, we all care about uh, you know environmental impact of these batteries. To, to be begin with, you can think of how battery or EV cars were even generated in the first place. We wanted to solve the problem with the fossil gas that is making the air pollution. So that's why it's extremely important for us to make sure that the batteries that you know are used in the cars are also recycled and recycled back in the manufacturing. It is possible for anything to, to accidentally end up in a landfill. People's gold jewelry sometimes ends up in a landfill not on purpose it's yeah. still valuable yeah. it's just not meant to be that way yeah. and so what i think we're going to see more of is uh people realizing that the value is here and making conscious decisions to actually get them to where they need to yes. be yes is there anything that's misunderstood about battery recycling that people should know um well i think uh what you mentioned was uh I think one of the biggest ones that is out there that we are not able to recycle, well, we are we are able to recycle them. And I think when it comes to uh, believing more in EV cars and sure. purchasing more of EV cars is something that... Now, you don't aware. recycle the cans, but someone does because it's still um, metal, right? Uh, the cases, uh, these are just turning into the scraps, yeah. Yeah, but, but then you recycle that to someone else, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that, that's the stage one that we yeah, don't you deal don't, with that. You don't yeah, yeah. throw that metal yeah. in the garbage. Yeah. Someone else gets Exactly, it. that's right. And yeah, the glue, of course, that's of no value. Yeah. The paint, of course, that's yeah. of no value. But you're up to, in terms of the recyclable components mm -hmm. of a cell, especially a metal can cell, you're talking well north of 90% recyclable material. For us, the recycling rate in this part, for us, more than 99% of cobalt, manganese, and nickel. Sure, yes. so all the good stuff you're capturing, yeah. essentially all of it. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and how energy intensive is the process? Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, when we are designing the technology, it's very important to make sure that, you know, you're going for saving energy and making sure that the process makes sense. That's why there's a lot of estimates in terms of the cost and the energy that comes into the process. Um, but I have to say that in terms of the, maybe, maybe we can discuss in terms of the carbon dioxide that is sure. producing. In terms of carbon dioxide production for this process is 62% less than competitive technologies out there. Okay. That's really how mindful we are when we are thinking about designing the technology. Okay. And so then, uh, yeah, so what you got is it's way better to recycle material than to mine fresh material. In the future, we could reach a point where half of the batteries made are made with recycled material. Once everybody's got an EV and they start coming off the market, then you're talking about a substantial amount. Mm -hmm. And what we're, he what we're hearing from you is that this is not science fiction. This is science fact. This is already being done. It's yes. a real thing. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Uh, no, but I want to say thanks for coming here and bringing awareness to popular, you know, public. I think it's very important. Thank of you. Of course. <laughs> and if you need more info, recyclico.com. And there's a QR code for those of you watching at home. You can just scan your TV now. 
Guys, what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? Leave it all under them in the comments below as you do. And of course, like, subscribe. Huge thanks to Marion for taking her time and giving us some fresh information. Uh, and everybody else, you know, like, subscribe, and uh, can't wait to hear from you, Clever Robots, on the flippity flop.